Platypus DeFi platform hit by $8.5 million flash loan attack with unexpected twist, here's what happened. Decentralized Finance, DeFi, protocol Platypus Finance has lost $8.5 million after suffering a flash loan attack. However, with the help of some on-chain sleuths, the project managed to track down the hacker and even recover some funds. On Thursday, an exploiter took advantage of a flaw in the Platypus USD, USP, the protocol's stablecoin, via a flash loan attack to steal user funds. They used a flash loan to exploit a logic error in the USP solvency check mechanism in the contract holding the collateral. The project confirmed in a Twitter post. The project detailed that nearly $8.5 million worth of funds were stolen from the main pool. As a result, the Platypus USD stablecoin became depegged from the US dollar, dropping to an all-time low of 33 cents, down more than 66% compared to its intended $1 peg. Platypus added that deposits were covered at 85% and that other pools were unaffected. The company said it has contacted the hacker to negotiate a bounty for the return of the funds and also started working with major crypto companies to freeze funds. Shortly after, crypto on-chain sleuth Zach XBT revealed that a now-deleted Twitter account going by at Redilk was responsible for the hack, alleging that the addresses identified by Platypus are linked to the account. I've traced addresses back to your account from the Platypus exploit and I am in touch with their team and exchanges, Zach XBT said in a tweet aimed at user at Redilco. We'd like to negotiate returning of the funds before we engage with law enforcement. Zach XBT said that he managed to trace the hacker by reviewing their transaction history across multiple chains, which led me to their ENS address Redilco.f. Your OpenSea account links directly to your Twitter and you liked a tweet about the Platypus exploit, the crypto researcher said. Meanwhile, Platypus, with the help of blockchain security. Firm BlockSec, updated its pool contract to counter-exploit $2.4 million in USDC from the hacker. They updated it such that when the exploit contract deposited the USDC, which it is tricked to believe as a flash loan, as collateral for the minting of USP, they could trick the code that it owed zero USDC back, Twitter user Nervoir said. The user added that Platypus sent the USDC from the fake pool to hard-coded addresses to avoid generalized front-runners. The other assets will probably be harder to recover but given that they control the pool code they have significant control, they said. The platypus hack comes as crypto remains rife with exploits and manipulations. As reported, the industry lost approximately $4 billion worth of digital assets to hacks, fraud, scams, and rug pulls last year. Among the various forms of illegal activities, hacks accounted for the bulk majority of crypto losses in 2022. More specifically, hackers stole over $3.7 billion, or more than 95% of all crypto lost in the year. Frauds, scams, and rug pulls comprised only 4.4% of the total losses.